love you. And no, as in more than you. Majano. Anyway, thank you for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to discuss my art. Yes, you're so funny. Now, Claude, you're an interesting man, if you don't mind me saying so myself. Because on the one hand, you're on the funniest show in the whole wide world, just... Technical school dropout. I'm sure sitting here talking all day is terribly difficult. Juilliard is not. In the Future There Will Be Robots is not a funny piece. It deals with the most important issues in the world today. Love, pain, suffering, skin-tight pants, and well-stretched groin muscles. But see, music has no meaning in people. It's about depth and texture and sense of community that emerges from the struggle going on within all of us. you wanted. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go. Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy, that's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, uh... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. What's that guy think this is, some footy art crap? Jeez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? Oh, I don't know. My performance at the Hollywood Bowl, perhaps. There are some that attend the concert inside. I am the concert outside myself. In the parking lot where we build bonfires and dance, it comes back to the seriousness of my purpose. At a young age, I held puppet shows on the corner that had people weeping and lying down in the streets. It's about movement, about encouraging ordinary, working-class people that there is something enervating. Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure, but you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? I'm gonna yoke you up, son. <laughs> we begin to cry. Close curtain. Um, okay. Well, I'd love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough! In Jalapa, in Mexico, there would be riots in the streets with small children giving me flowers and weeping. Here in Vice City, they wouldn't know art unless it came as a tube of beef jerky. They told me, Claude, it can't be done. Vice City is for sun worshippers and Philistines. And I told them, no. I told them, if I'm directing a work of commercial dross down there, I must save my soul with some serious art. But to be honest, Amy, they were <laughs> right. <laughs> Mr. 
Any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching me express the meaning of space as I move delicately across the stage in the dance of desire and denigration than flopping around in a disco or a nightclub or sucking the electric teat of television. I know I would. God, I mean, what is wrong with you people? God, my hair. What? My... Come on, let's go. Please save me from this hellhole. My dear, you are so ignorant. I'm trying to save you, to save everyone. You don't see the art around you. Are you in search of old Lang Zines, singing Madame Butterfly on a windowsill, or relegating yourself to a cricket in Huckleberry Finn? I'm a movement that conquers love while you complain about your dress. Know you not how it... Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. You make me feel like a quinceanera. Throw yourself up! Flash! Flash in the fan! <laughs> I was so mad at the auto repair shop that sold me that tire. Thanks to De Leon and Furax, the district attorney saw it that way too. Uh, I accidentally torched a cookie mart when my medication ran out. <laughs> De Leon and Furax helped me and the community by ensuring a healthy settlement from the pharmaceutical companies. At De Leo and Furax, we understand the judicial system and we'll ensure the truth is heard, no matter how it promises. We're not cheap, but what price can you put on truth? Call the Leo and Furax today at 866-974-2333. That's 866-9-SHADY. The Leo and Furax. Accidents happen, and we'll prove it. The store leading the fight against communism is having a blowout sale. Ammunition. Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. Exercise your Second Amendment rights and get 10% off all armor-piercing bullets. We're the only gun store that lets you try it before you buy it. Need anti-tank missiles? Whoa, cool shark. Yeah. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Point it at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Oh, and were the sequins a reference to lasers? 
Yes, yes, my, my, I agree. Thanks for calling. That is an important question. You see, I'm an important person, and I especially think so. It is really important for people to see my form move through space in very tight pants, or the effect is ruined. Interpretive dance cannot be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why well, have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very important. You're kind of creepy. You're nothing like you are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the family and putting out the fires started by the homeless guy and starting group hugs. But in real life, you're just plain creepy. You won't even tell us how old Jimmy is. All you talk about is Archie stuff like that nobody understands because it's complicated and how tight your pants are. That's not true. I also discussed love and passion and amenity and the lasers. You, my dear, could use all three. You, my dear, are a Philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most degrading, debasing, horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rake's Progress lawnmower commercial. I feel dirty, like I just sat in something. You did. Our last guest was taken violently ill. Yes, well, such is the plight of radio. Rather than grumble like Leporello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Claude. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K-Chat. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. Freedom. The car for hot excitement. The car for a man who is alone against the elements. Now my pot's in thunder. The pride is back. It's the power of a compact. It's small, but it's so big. Fuel injected. Inject me. My Batsu Thunder. On the toll road of life, you have to pay to prove you can. Live the emotion of an individual. The awesome power of nature distilled into one vehicle. It goes after you get struck by lightning. There's thunder. The Maibatsu Thunder. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic oh, yeah. mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then I don't we... Don't give uh... a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem oh, on the yeah. phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy oh, yeah. aspects of this nation's mm -hmm. great entertainment oh, yeah. industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, okay, you know candy. Shrub. Okay, you guys get up to anything bar. kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. You got that. Was that part of the, uh, was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. Rather than an elite electoral college, ride a bike to work like a Girl Scout or a clown with dietary concerns? No thanks, Vladimir. I'll agree with that. 
people from other countries are good for nothing. That's why we have to keep teaching them a lesson. I'll tell you what makes a real man. A truck to pull stuff and a couch to think on. I'll tell you. Speaking as a sensualist, and by that I mean a very narrow-minded, id-centered man of peace, who travel. I recently went to Europe. I think everyone should see it for a week. You really see what's wrong with this country when you visit a European utopia. Things like a journey, public transportation, health care, leather shorts, mustaches. When I went to Belize, I helped some villagers clear some land for an environmentally friendly coal mine. We've all got to make some sacrifices if we're going to get anywhere. My dad gave me the money to set up an exciting trust there. But how does that help the people in Vice City from worrying about whether they're going to get robbed? What drives a man to just take? What we need are more after-school sports like choir or drama so people can learn to express themselves properly by singing or pretending to be a tree. Have you ever heard a whale sing? It's a lonely form of beauty and some very ancient wisdom. Helping people to help themselves with drama and choir and flowers and my dad's money. Listen, trust fund, Tommy. Your ideas are pathetic. It's no wonder that mankind has woken up one day to find me in charge, amigo. Mr. Shrub, you got elected on a campaign promising to reduce taxes to zero. But under your stewardship, we've seen taxes go up by 20% and services decline. Nobody is interested in your statistics, Chavez. Let me tell you something, pal. I'm better than that. I will not, I shall not, I cannot stoop to your level. They assured me this was a show that understood politics, where we could debate things mano a mano, and I find myself having statistics hurled at me like so much stale confetti. We cannot boil people down to numbers. You have no idea, my friend, what it takes to serve, the sacrifices I've made to help my country, to help Vice City, the complexity of government, the, the hideousness of my wife, and the way her thighs grow like our national debt. Oh, oh, sure, some people like that, but not me. It's a nightmare, my friend, and, and I have thrown back at me by an ingrate like you. I could scarcely get up in the morning. And with that outrageous revelation, let's take a quick break to tell you something very informative. You're listening to Pressing Issues on Vice City Public hey. Radio. Over to you, Jonathan. Hello, and welcome back. I'm Jonathan Freeloader, and you're listening to VCPR. Can you call me? This portion Martha? of Pressing Issues oh, Alex. is brought to you by Ammunition. I mean, Martha. Proud support of you public say. radio and our community. We hope you're enjoying Pressing Issues and the way it challenges your view of society. Unfortunately, public radio in Vice City is under pressure. That's because we're better than everyone. You can't hear this kind of hard-hitting, long, drawn-out programming anywhere else. But you have to give money. That's right, Jonathan. Money is important. It can be exchanged for goods and services, like getting a hip replacement or fun... Martha, someone's watching. <laughs> How kinky. You, give me that camera. Keep your hoes and seeds to yourself. 
We don't need gun control. If you read the Constitution, it's a sacred document that should not be changed. Under our Constitution, women couldn't vote, but the liberals come in crying crocodile tears. We need to get scaremongers and non-believers men like you, Chavez, under control. I've got a good mind to have your funding removed. We don't get any funding. Yeah, exactly. Well, good. <laughs> you won't see a penny out of me. You've got to stop spreading these lies or I'll whip you myself. I'm not afraid. The Constitution asserts a man's right to bear arms and arm bears and all points in between. Who ever heard of a gun or a bear? Sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. does not want you. I love. Bye. 
What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. Eyes biting your face, afraid to move for fear of alerting the beasts, covering yourself with yak urine to thwart your spell. I then, a beast draws close. You bounce, bringing your battle axe on its skull. Man and animal at that moment, one and the same in a terrible beauty. Then you drag the carcass back to camp and celebrate by eating its heart. Some people, they only do this once in a lifetime. I do this every day, and so can you. Okay.